Hi, and welcome to lesson 15.3, which is scientific notation with negative powers of 10. So we're trying to figure out how can you use scientific notation to express very small quantities. Okay, let's get into it on our explore activity. We are looking at negative powers of 10. You can use what you know about writing very large numbers in scientific notation to write very small numbers in scientific notation. I and here we go with a typical human hair it has a diameter of oh boy that's super small uh, of a meter. Write this number in scientific notation. Well, like we did before uh, with the large numbers, we uh, will create a number greater than or equal to one and smaller than ten using a decimal. So we can see here that the decimal is right here. But if we place it here, we would have a number greater than or equal to 1 and smaller than 10. So that's where the decimal is going to go. And then we simply are going to find out how many times we had to move that decimal. So we have here, oop, okay. Uh, uh, so if it's, if we place the, oh, you know, they, they got me on this right here we should probably have oh that we have a um, this is an example this is not actually answering uh, you know turning this into it it was leading to it so if we have this times 10 to the 0 the decimal uh, stays put if we have times 10 to the first the decimal moves to the right one and I'll move in closer here so times 10 to the first it moves to the right one if you move to the uh, times 10 to the second, that's times 100, so it's moving the decimal twice to the right. Because notice here, it goes from there twice to the right. Uh, if it's to the third power, it's going to be three times to the right. And now, if we have this here uh, to the zero power, once again, staying where it is, but it's to the negative first power, instead of moving to the right, it's going to be moving to the left. To the negative second power instead of moving to the right which is to this positive second power it's moving to the left so it's decreasing powers of 10 and so to the third means you're going to be moving the decimal three times to the left so uh, we have a few things here and I have a few uh, items here already done for us but if we have um, this number we're trying to figure out you know, how do we write this in scientific notation? Well, we have 2.5, where we put the decimal in between the 2 and the 5 uh, to make it a number greater than or equal to 1 or smaller than 10. Divide that by our original number, and we would have this. So write that as a power of 10 would be this. And so put it all together. This is the standard notation. This is the scientific notation version of what we got. So, when you move the decimal point, how can you tell whether you are increasing or decreasing? Well, uh, moving to the left is a decrease, and moving to the right is an increase. And this was, this was from the previous lesson. Uh, one increases and the other decreases the number, so that's how we can tell that difference. Okay. Now we jump to uh, the next page, writing the number in scientific notation. And so this is a summary of what's happening. So writing small quantities in scientific notation, this is addressing our essential question. When the number is between 0 and 1, use a negative exponent. So we have this one, you know, smaller than 1 but bigger than 0. And this means we're moving to the left two times. Uh, I'm sorry, move it to the right two times. This is a super small number. It deserves a negative exponent. So, and let's see, uh, moving it to the right, got it. So, the, so we, have, we have this super small number, we're going to turn this into scientific notation, and uh, we create a number between 1 and 10 using a decimal, so the decimal is going to go right there. And so the decimal is right here. How many times did we have to move that decimal to the right? Uh, let's see, we had to move that decimal to the right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times to the right. And that is why we have uh, 
negative, oops, negative 8 as a exponent. And it's as simple as that. So that, that number, so this number right here written in scientific notation ends up being this because you have to move the decimal to the right eight times. So when you write a number that is less than 1 in scientific notation, how does the power of 10 differ from when you write a number that is greater than 1? Well, I think it has to do with those negative exponents and those positive exponents. The exponent is negative instead of positive. Okay, so your turn. Uh, pause the video and try to write these numbers in scientific notation. Okay, I'm going to start with the first one here. I'm going to put the decimal right here. Oops. I'm going to put it right here. So that means I have uh, 8.29 times 10. And then how many times did I have to move it to the right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's negative 5. And when I do this, I should have, boom, got it. Uh, this one, this is going to be put the decimal here, so I have 3.02 times 10, and then I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 7, and that's what we should be getting. Eh. There. And we have this one, uh, right, this in scientific notation, so what we have is uh, the decimal needs to go here, so we have 7 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's time 10 to the negative 6. And that is here. All right. Well, that was easy. Let's go to our next thing. Right here, I believe. So writing a number in standard notation. So we're going to go the other way. We're going to be given the scientific notation, and we're going to be writing it in standard notation. So here we have this number here, and we're going to ask, we're asked to write that number in standard notation. And so that is simply going to tell us how many times we have to move the decimal to the left now, because we're going backwards, so we got to go back to the left. So that's six places to the left, so you count one, two, three, four, five, six to the left, and there's the decimal. Fill in the rest with zeros, and there you go. That number in scientific notation, in standard notation, is that. Okay, so let's justify, explain whether that is written in scientific notation. Hmm, you know what I'm thinking? That has to be a number greater than, greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, and that is smaller than 1. So that's going to be a problem right there. I don't think that's written in scientific notation. Oh. Yeah, it's no, because the first factor, remember, when two things are being multiplied, they're each called factors. Uh, the factor is less than one, the decimal should be to the right, so it should be over here, so it's nine times ten. Ah, and so this is an important idea. Let me write that down. That Their answer right here is equal to 0 0.9 times 10 to the negative fifth. These are the same number. These two represent the same number, but this one's in scientific notation and the other one's not. I'll let that sink in for a moment. This is moving the decimal six times to the left, right? It's moving it six times that way, and that one's moving it five times that way, but this has already been moved one over here from here. See, the decimal's there, and now the decimal's there. If you move this one five times to the left, it's the same thing as moving this one six times to the left. Yeah. Now, big question, which one's larger, two times 10 to the negative third or three times 10 to the negative second? Well, let's see. Two times 10 to the negative third. I'm going to bring this over here. So, uh, 2 times 10, <clears throat> 2 times 10 to the negative third is equal to, let's see, um, there's the 2, and the decimal on 2 is that, and negative 3 means I have to move 1, 2, 3. So that's equal to 0 0.002, and 3 times 10 to the negative second, 3 times 10 to the negative second, that is a 3, but I have to move it 
left, the decimals to the left two times, one, two, that's equal to 0 0.03. So I'm comparing 0 0.002 to 0 0.03, and which one is, let's see, they're asking which one is larger, uh, this one, this one's larger, because I could put a zero right there, and we're talking about we're comparing 30 to 2. So 0 0.03 is larger. Okay, let's see why. Ah. Yeah, I see. That is a great point. Uh, that one is bigger, which is the one I said, because the exponent's greater. Eh, you know what? I didn't even think about doing that. Yeah, negative 2 is larger than negative 3. Negative 2 is larger than negative 3. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a good one right there. I like that. Anyway, that's an easy way to do it. So, write these in standard notation. Uh, what I would do is, uh, you need to pause the video and see if you can answer this before I do. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to put this over at 1.045. Uh, 1 1.045 times 10 to the negative 6 power. So 1.045 times... Oh, so I have to move it 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, six times one, two, three, four, five. So five zeros. Uh, so that's the number. And I'll move this over, hit this, and boom. Are there five zeros? One, two, three, four, five zeros. So, and the important thing is that is not telling you how many zeros there are, it's telling you how many times to move the decimal. Okay. Uh, 9.99 .9 times 9.9 .9 times 10 to the negative fifth. So 9.9 .9, negative fifth means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Four zeros. That is the number in standard notation. Done. And then this one in standard notation, this is 1 times 10 to the negative. Oh, now 1, the decimal 1 is there, times 10 to the negative second means move it 1 two times to the left, 0 0.01. So I have this. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy. And so let's see what I, yep, that uh, that rounds out what I got for you. And <clears throat> so that's what we got to know. We got to know about scientific notation with negative powers of 10, expressing small numbers with scientific notation. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.